Okay, so that's covered. Uh, you are familiar with the application at this point. Uh, you've made your uh, application date by going to the Sheriff's Department and filling out that form and submitting it. Uh, within a week or so, you're going to get a uh, response that says your appointment's at thus and such date. Uh, my suggestion to you is use a cell phone when uh, uh, putting that number down because they're going to call you at any time during the day and you need, must, must, must answer the phone because if they don't reach you, they're not going to call back for a while. They're going to continue on with their list. There's thousands of people that are applying and they don't have time to uh, keep track of numbers they missed. So uh, you're going to get a response that says you're date is thus and such. Uh, don't get all freaked out because they're going to change that. They're, they've hired 15 people, additional officers and uh, investigators to uh, help with this process because of the overload. You're probably going to get a call back uh, and your appointment's going to be several years sooner. Um, I think they're working you know, the date of this video, we're at the end of May here, and uh, they're working into April of next year. Uh, like I said, that's thousands and thousands of people. So, uh, And in the meantime, do your homework. Get this application filled out. Obviously, you have a lot of time. Uh, one of the requirements for CCW is a 16-hour class, or the law says not to exceed 16 hours. Uh, basically, it's a two-day training course, part of which is a qualification on any of the firearms that you want to put on your license. You're allowed up to three firearms, and you have to go through a roughly 75-round course of fire, ranging from three to ten yards. It depends on the instructor. Uh, there's nothing in stone uh, written by the Sheriff's Department. And... Uh, so it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, if you're, if you've gotten this far, I think you're going to enjoy the training. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, I went to well, I won't say where I went, but there's three three guys that you're uh, allowed to go to here in Orange County. Uh, that is Greg Block. He runs. Uh, I'll put it in the well here. Uh, another guy is. Uh, uh, Firearms Training and Associates out of Corona. They're at Rahagas range. Um, and then there's a TJ who does his training out of On Target down in South Orange County. Uh, I don't recall his name of his... Uh, I'll, I'll annotate all that stuff. Uh, those are the guys you need to uh, get uh, training with. I don't recommend doing it too far in advance because the training certificates are only good for six months. So you don't want to do them too far out in advance. Uh, there's no way around the training. You have to do the training. doesn't matter how uh, high speed, low drag of a badass you are. You still need to get that certificate. Uh, so in the meantime, uh, if you're certain that you're going to pass, you know, you have no speeding tickets, you've never had any run-ins with the law enforcement ever, and you're completely clean in the background department, there's no reason why you're going to get it denied. Still, don't take the... <laughs> uh, uh, training. All right, let's talk about what happens when you have your interview. You're going to get called in for an interview at some point. That's when you submit your application, uh, which is right here uh, that we went over earlier. Uh, you're going to get an interview with any number of uh, investigators, but once you get that first interview, that's your investigator. That's the guy that you, or gal that you will go to uh, for any questions. Um, basically, they're just going to go through uh, your application uh, during this appointment. They're going to look up your background. They're going to inspect the history of any or all of your firearms that you're putting on your uh, application. They're uh, going to re-ask you. They're going to go through this entire uh, application again and ask you all the same questions to make sure and verify all your answers. Uh, and actually it's a pleasant experience. A, a lot of them are uh, really good, decent people and majority of them, I think, uh, a vast majority of them, I believe, are honestly uh, thrilled to death that a lot of people are interested in this. So uh, don't be freaked out. Uh, it's not a bad experience at all. 
uh, after your uh, interview, they're going to suggest that you start looking at training. At that point, yes, indeed, it's a great idea to start looking into training. In fact, uh, if you're positive that you're going to get your license because you're Joe Outstanding Citizen, I would try to get your uh, training probably a month after the uh, first interview that you have. After your first interview, uh, you're going to be, uh, you know, told about the training and the next steps that you need to take. Basically, there's not a lot to it. You're just going to get your training. Uh, after you get your training behind you, and you haven't heard from the investigator yet, you want to uh, scan your training certificate and just email it to your investigator just to let them know that you're good to go on the training. Also. Uh, there's going to be a initial uh, approval or denial for your application uh, based on uh, all the information you've provided. Uh, they're also going to come to your house and uh, make sure that you actually live there. They want to physically see you there or talk to somebody like your neighbor or your wife or if you've trained your dog, he'll talk to your dog. Show them a picture of you. Uh, one of the you have to get two uh, passport photos. The reason why you get that is to give the investigators so they can go walk around your neighborhood to make sure that this photo matches the individual that lives in this house where you say you live. Um, that usually takes anywhere between ten to fifty days at this point. It looks like, um, judging by a lot of the forums, uh, mine took uh, about two weeks after my initial interview. Uh, just kind of luck of the draw. Uh, once you get your uh, residency validated, uh, your file and you're approved, your file is going to end up on the lieutenant's desk. Uh, and he or she, I'm not sure who it is, uh, is going to give you the final approval uh, that says yay or nay. And that process is, at this point, I believe, is the slowest choke point of the whole process. At that point, uh, when you get accepted, uh, you're going to be asked to do a live scan, which is a, uh, a digital fingerprinting, which uh, basically goes over all of your uh, background. Uh, there's three different levels of it. There is a firearms eligibility, a state, and then a federal background check. There's three different tests uh, they run on you. The latter two, uh, the state and fed background checks, are nearly instantaneous. It takes about five hours, it seems, plus or minus, to uh, get the results for that. And those are electronically sent to your investigator. And uh, the final one is actually done by the Department of Justice in Sacramento. And that's uh, the holdup. They're specifically doing a mail-out uh, report. Uh, I think it's for political reason, but I'm not really sure. Uh, but anyway, that takes anywhere from 20 to 30 days, it seems like. Once that is behind you and everything else is good to go, uh, your investigator is going to give you a call back once again and ask you to come in to pick up your CCW, uh, at which point uh, there's only two things you need to remember. Uh, bring in your, uh, obviously, proof of identity driver's license, what have you, uh, you're going to bring in uh, your firearms training certificate saying that you qualified with whatever guns you're interested in putting in your uh, license and a check for the amount that's on your application. Uh, for me, it was $102.22. <laughs> and uh, if you want to change your guns, uh, you're going to have to basically go through the same uh, thing that you do when you get qualified, you're going to have to go back to your uh, qualifier and uh, whatever, you know, or, or you can go to a different one actually if you want, uh, any of the three, and you're going to uh, just requalify, and usually it's like a nominal, like 20 bucks or something, and uh, bring them the new certificate. And uh, you can go ahead and change your firearms pretty much anytime you want. So, anyway, I hope this series of videos clarifies a little for all the people that are interested in getting their CCW in California.
well, at least in Orange County, California. Uh, the counties are different. It's up to the sheriff uh, to decide what is good cause and what is shall issue. Uh, so that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Go ahead and leave me a comment down in the description box, and I'll try to get to you if I can. Also, you can shoot me a PM if you need to, if it's something uh, you don't want to put in the public forum. So I uh, hope this helps people. Uh, good luck with the application process. It goes really fast. Mine was a total of 40 days, so that's pretty fast, uh, all things considered. So, uh, Also, just want to thank all the people over at uh, the Orange County Sheriff's Department. They were nothing but outstanding to work with and really made the uh, process pleasurable, for lack of a better word. Uh, it was smooth, easy, and uh, they made it uh, just a good experience. So. Cheers to those guys. Take care, you guys.